So, it's been a couple of hours since the incident. Had to go have a shower. Had resin all through my hair, over my face. Had it on the camera. Let's talk about what just happened. So I was filming for this week's project and I was using my vac pump and vacuum chamber. And I was stabilizing some burl. Everything was going good and then I decided that I would degas some resin and that's when it all went wrong. Now I was lucky enough that I captured everything on this camera and on my workshop security camera. Now before I show you the footage, let me explain what happened. Earlier on in the day I was stabilizing some burl and I heard a crack in the lid. Now honestly, right there, I should have just stopped. I was in such a rush to get this week's video finished that I kept going and I shouldn't have. That's my fault, it's all on me. This is what the cracks looked like. Now these chambers are mass produced and they're sold by a variety of sellers, so I'm not going to name names, it definitely wasn't the seller's fault. Just quickly, for those of you who don't know how a vacuum chamber works, you basically have a vacuum pump connected to a chamber, you turn the pump on, it pulls all the air outside of the chamber. Now if you're stabilizing something like timber inside, what will happen is the air will get drawn out of the timber and that space will be replaced with stabilizing resin, which will help make the wood stronger. Now I've used this chamber quite a few times and I've never had a problem. And after reviewing the footage, you can see that I clearly turn the valve off and then go to shut the pump off. As Soon as I hit the switch on the pump, the whole thing implodes. Now the lid is quite thick and it broke into all these pieces. Now they're all stuck together because the lid was covered in resin. You'll also notice that all the cracks come from the hole in the middle where the vac gauge went through. Now I know you guys are probably thinking that I over tightened the gauge, but you can clearly see in this clip here that there was still movement in the gauge, so it wasn't even tight. There was even enough force that it put two massive dents in the bottom of the pot. So now you guys know what I was doing and why I was doing it, let's check out the footage so you can see for yourself. Got that on camera. So here's the vision from my security camera. I'll play it in normal speed first. So I'm switching the valve off and then I go to switch off the pump. Now let's watch it again in slow mo. So there goes the valve and the switch. there it goes so here it is zoomed in on slow-mo you watch the lid come up turn the switch off lid comes up well guys what did you think of that it scared the crap out of me it was such a big bang as well my ears are still ringing a bit and I was quite lucky I didn't have my face any further over that pot because those lid fragments would have come up and sliced my face open you can see here in the security footage just how close one of the pieces came to my head. I made this video so you guys can see what happens if you continue using your chamber with a cracked lid. So please don't be an idiot like me and stop using it. I will continue filming tomorrow. I've got some yellow box here that I've stabilized with some dye. That's going to be a cool video so keep an eye out for that this weekend. I know a lot of you are expecting to see part 3 of the Back to the Future builds. Unfortunately I am waiting on a few parts to turn up so that video will be in a few weeks. Hopefully this is my first and last workshop accident or incident video. I was lucky no one was seriously injured. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.